Say hello to my mate, Gary. Look at him, he is gorgeous. Massive fan of plumbing too, which is kind of why I brought him down here today, because plumbing's one of those interesting careers that we kind of take for granted every time we turn on a tap or drink some fresh drinking water, or even flush a toilet. <laughs> right, Gary? Gary! Well, it looks like he's off on an adventure through the world of plumbing, and so are we, because I'm on my way to talk to a young pre-apprentice who is currently earning his certificate two in plumbing, and I'm told he's a big fan of keeping our water supply nice and healthy, which is a good thing for Gary. Liam. Hands. Hey, mate, how you doing? Yeah, good, just help. Good, now you're a plumber. I want to find out what it's like to do what you do. Also, I flush my friend Gary. Can you help out? Yeah, no worries. All right, let's go have a chat. I'm worried about it. So how can I help your hands? All right, Liam. Now, you look, you're uh, still in school. You're doing your vet in school plumbing pre-apprenticeship, yeah? Yep. Tell me about that. I mean, first of all, what does a plumber do? Well, a plumber controls the feed of fresh water to your house and the contaminants that lead away from it so we can have things like hot showers, working toilets and fresh drinking water. Oh, I love all of those things. <laughs> okay, cool. So why did you pick this career for yourself? Sounds pretty interesting. Well, I did a tri trade in year 10. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I couldn't get into MPA skills in year 11, but I stuck out with my work experience and uh, here I am today, year 12, and at MPA skills. You loving it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So why is plumbing so important? Well, we need fresh water to live and we've got to get rid of our sewage somehow so it's not out in our streets. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> of course, they do steal my goldfish sometimes. Okay, so you're studying Certificate 2? Yeah. Tell me about that. How's that going to help you on your career? Well, it's good. It gets my foot in the door towards an apprenticeship and uh, it gives me the qualifications and skills and confidence to talk to potential employers and already have that foot ahead when I get out there in the work field. Yeah, it kind of gives you a leg up, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, right. And uh, what's the plan after that? Once you get your qualifications, what are you going to do? Well, i got to get my apprenticeship and I need to sit that out and uh, then I can go for my plumbing and gas fitting licence and then I can open my own business and combine my love for taking care of native wildlife. Wow, so be your own boss and help keep the waterways clean and all our animals healthy. Yeah. All right, well, I've got a couple of uh, edge questions for you. Here we go in a nutshell. Number one, if I want to become a plumber, like you're doing, what do I have to do? Well, if you're in year nine or 10, contact your school's vet coordinator or careers counselor. And if you're out of school, Google it or contact your local plumbing provider. Ah, oh, sweet. Second question, what sort of person's going to be a good plumber? Well, someone who doesn't mind getting dirty, a bit of hard yakka and uh, problem solving, yeah, because right. it'll come up a lot. Cool, and last question, if you had a piece of advice for someone who's thinking about doing what you do, what would you tell them? If you've got any drive and you've got any ambition, just go for it and stick it out and give it a go if you don't know. Awesome, thank you so much, my man. No worries. Last question, just for me, uh, where's Gary? He's in the world of plumbing. He's in the world of plumbing. Let's go try and find him. Come on, you and me. Well, it looks like it's never too soon to get started on your career in the trades. And for people like Liam, a certificate two in plumbing is the perfect first step. Now, if you're in the same boat and you want more info, you can always get onto studentedge.com.au. And from now on, do me a favor, whenever you flush a toilet, whenever you use a sink, think of poor little Gary. Found him. Oh, Gary! Oh my, did you get a haircut? That's amazing.